I used to go with a lot of college friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, my, the anime conventions I used to go to a lot were Anime Boston and Otakon, but now Momocon is the mainstay every single year. So let's get it though. All right, going straight into it, and we got Nimbus versus Draxel. Draxel, Draxel wearing his name on the back of his jersey too, so you know my man's coming in, putting in work. Yeah, for a second I thought it was Bayonetta versus Sheik, but actually nah, it's not. We, <laughs> we out here. We got Diddy versus Captain Falcon. Oh, okay. Wow, this guy is on top of things right here, man. Okay, I thought we were gonna see an upbeat, but he's probably gonna save that. The game just started. You don't want to show your hand a little too soon. Yeah, he's honestly doing very well in the neutral anyway. I don't think did he look for a KO. Well, he's he is looking for that KO. Oh, just throw out the Falcon kick. Man, channeling his inner uh, fatality. <laughs> I love that up tilt. Uh, didn't think he was actually going to be able to get any combo off of it, but. And you, you saw the spacing right there, too, right? Basically trying to see if he can wait for a roll option. Uh, yeah, Nimbus actually had the right idea there, but he, he just barely missed spaces down tilt. It should have worked. Oh, no. wow. I did not think. What a read. Draxel was actually going to look for a roll. That's crazy. Huh. Right? I can't even imagine. Like, even in that situation, I wouldn't really expect Nimbus to kind of roll like that. But I mean, on. roll is definitely a common option when it comes to this game. But in that situation, I didn't. I agree with you. I didn't think we were going to see it there. Oh. Nice. I love it. I love it. The last thing your opponent expects. Such a quick option. And it grabs him after shielding. Nimbus back in this game. Yep. And right now, you, you already see he's just trying his best to just take advantage of the fact that he's a short character. Putting out that forward air. Making it difficult for Draxel to get in and get that save damage. Even hiding behind a banana the way he was, but oh, opening. Okay. Wasn't able to convert much off of it, and I like that too by Draxel. As you can see, those jabs. Really good tool to not only trap people at the edge when they're coming back on stage, but just like get people off your back, right? Really fast tool. Ah, seems like Jax is now having a hard time making it back to stage. Finally get to center stage. So he gets on the start here. Here's the air dodge he was looking for, but miss spacing. The knee shortly thereafter. Yep, not quite getting the sweet spot hit that everybody wants to see. Makes them go crazy. We would have seen a side B right there, but the interruption with the F tilt by Nimbus. Both of these guys right now, high percent, and I like this right here. Nimbus repositioning himself. Back turn, not able to really capitalize off of that power. Uh, perfect shield. The one thing I would say, if I'm Nimbus, I'm definitely watching out for a random smash attack, or random Falcon, you know, uh, I'm sorry, Raptor boost, because it seems like Drexel's not afraid to pull the trigger. And see, look at that, dude. He's, he's crazy. Yep, we got the banana toss to the up smash, though. Solid bread and butter combo right there to end up. Uh, well, actually, not even bread and butter. Uh, solid punisher, rather, to help KO the opponent. Really, really good go-to one. If you notice, with the banana, you have a lot of great range, right? Um, the burst range is increased, and the, the banana just gives you more than enough time to charge an up smash, as you saw right there. Just a little itty-bitty charge and just got that KO. Even with Captain Falcon being a heavy character, Still got it. Got the uh, right amount of percent, and now we're going into the second game. Yeah, honestly, though, the way that match started, I thought my boy Draxel was really, really going to have it. Uh, we saw Nimbus change up his gameplay, or I guess, like, the way he was playing the matchup and made his way through the, the match. Great adjustments kept him in the game. I think he finally realized, yo, I'm playing Captain Falcon. This man's going to do some crazy stuff sometimes. He's got to be careful. Oh, wow. And I like the DI. That would have been tough right there. A lot of times people air dodge early. Okay, we didn't see any air dodge. It looked like he was <laughs> waiting for it too. <laughs> so one of the worst things he ever have uh, would do against Cam Falcon when he down throws you off stage. And, okay, no uh, chance for a banana. It's probably yeah. Okay. Yes, I knew it. As soon as he pulled it out, uh, Jackson was waiting for that. Yep. Almost put him in a really bad spot right there. Actually, still. Okay, I was about to say still kind of in a disadvantage state, but he finally has. Stage positioning. Okay. I thought he was gonna like toss the opponent off stage, rinse and repeat. Yeah, Captain Falcon's a character you want to do that to, man. Just get him off stage and just in a bad position. That's uh the last place he wants to be. He had the banana on deck too, so I'm not sure why. Good delay on the recovery right there. Of nice. course. Monkey to kick will save him from that re-grab. Yep, doesn't want exactly. Going high this time, drifting back, and I like it. Didn't want to be susceptible to that down tilt. Has such good knockback. And we're living still. That's yeah, he's looking for the up throw up there. I would, I mean, honestly, having Falcon's pretty heavy. That's not something that's always going to work. I would rather just throw him off stage and keep him off stage. That's it. I agree. Okay, going a little deep right there. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> he's crazy. Were, that side B didn't interact with anything. It just went right past. <laughs> I don't blame him though. Oh, I, I do blame him for the second one. First yeah. one. <laughs> okay, there, there it go. is. <laughs> nope, actually. 
thing in Raptor Boost. Neutral get up, Raptor Boost. Wow, and he, <laughs> did, he didn't even, unfortunately, get the punish. Still respecting the space of the opponent, even after getting a knockdown. Okay, Nimbus. He's chilling. He doesn't want to get hit by the backer. He doesn't want to get hit by the Raptor Boost, dude. You know what's coming. Oh, yeah. You know, Captain Falcon, a lot of times, so, uh, Captain Falcon's against Diddy since he's so short. They will opt for the back air, but they have to do, like, a deeper one, right? Yeah. Okay, nice read right there. 106%. I want to see what Draxel has up his sleeve. You know, okay? Now they, well, now he's not afraid of losing his stock. He's probably going to go for some crazy stuff again. Uh, not necessarily crazy. You know, I think he might try spacing out the back airs more like you were talking about. Or oh, maybe he might try to <laughs> <laughs> Charge forward smash. Oh, goodness. I feel like it's easy to fall into that like uh, that zone of Captain Falcon where you, you think you have to hit with one of these crazy attacks to get a KO. But honestly, yeah, all he needs there we is go. to stop back here. Like, yeah. yeah. That was that was what I was waiting for the entire time, to be honest. Yeah. Drax was back in there, man. It was looking kind of scary for a second, but... Ouch. Okay. Oh, gr I think he jabbed him in the wrong direction. Could have gotten another, another follow-up after that. Wow, I don't even think back here to F Smash is true, but it managed to work <laughs> at, at like 30%. <laughs> Chilling right here. Uh, okay, again, Nimbus with the spacing. He has to watch out for that banana toss. He, okay, wow. He, it looked like he was probably trying to show off that he would opt for other options, and Draxel didn't oh, care. Oh, come on, man. Someone hits your shield with that dash tag. That's a free grab. Definitely. Okay, getting caught off stage again. Nimbus, wow. Draxel not ready for the monkey flip. It's just so fast, man. The hitbox is huge, too, so you really got to space out and time your attack correctly. Exactly. Well, one of the best things to do is to just, like, hold down the stage, bait out the option. Oh, oh, my goodness. I thought the dare was coming, but he was right above the stage. He realized that. Very smart. Hanging. Waiting to see. Oh, you know, seeing Draxel put himself in the air like that could have been a little risky. We could have seen Nimbus capitalize on the landing, but instead the backer off stage right here. Trying to capitalize on that recovery, but... The auto snap working out in Drax's favor. Yeah, it's actually pretty hard to do that with Captain Falcon if they know if they know how to recover, man. Okay, banana jump. Are we gonna see a jump? And he's not. Okay, that's regrab but no punish. All right. Yep, yeah, yeah, Nimbus unfortunately not ready. Didn't punish the jump option. Okay, nice. He gets the chase here though. No, oh, no follow up after the air dodge though. Nimbus is looking good, man. Drax is not too far out. He has max rage now, so if he can get a, he can get one of those crazy Raptor boost reads. You never know, man. We'll see. Hold it down the stage here. We're going to see a roll. Oh, oh my God! That was your chance, my boy. That was a that was a very good mix-up. Going for the lead chop immediate air dodge. 